What's up guys, JFM here, welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition video, and in today's video I will be showing you guys 10 awesome redstone creations all involving hoppers. So yeah, I mean they're all really, really cool builds, there are a total of 10 of them, so the first round I'll just go and show you guys all the builds, and then I'll go around a second time showing you how most of them work. So, a huge shout out to my man Agent CPU, thank you for making this map, let's go ahead and explore the 10 Hopper creation. So uh, the first build I have for you today is the Redstone Trapped Stolen Item Prank. It's pretty cool, so basically, your unsuspecting buddy will walk over with a ton of goodies and place them in his chest, right? And you can check it out, and you can see all the items, and uh, it's fine, it's all good day. So, your friend will unsuspectingly leave, then come back only to find an empty chest, and all of his stuff seems to be stolen. But it's just a prank, and there are hoppers right underneath, which lead you to the secondary chest where all of his stuff is stored. <laughs> Now, obviously, you'll probably want to hide it better than this, but it just goes to show that it actually works. And I think the best part about this prank is it doesn't actually show the stuff leaving until you're gone. So it's not going to show it leaving the chest. You're going to have to leave it yourself and then come back and everything will be gone. So you can't see it disappearing while you're looking inside the chest. That is pretty cool. So that is the first build. Let's move on to the second one. So uh, this is the minecart emptier build, and it's very simple. It's just a build that allows you to empty minecarts. So I'm gonna fill it up with all sorts of goodies, including redstone torches and a few buckets. Hit. Oh wait, hold on. Let's push it back there. There we go. And hit the button, and it should go ahead and just start unloading itself once it passes this hopper. Check it out. Check it out. And each and every time it passes over the hopper, it will drop another thing into the chest. So it's a pretty cool build. Uh, I like it a lot. Now, this next build is an awesome one. It's a redstone gambling machine. So check it out. Basically, what you do is you insert one emerald and then go ahead and hit the button to test your luck and see what you get in return. And I got a gold ingot. Okay, pretty bad actually. That's not, <laughs> you would not want that. So let's try it again. Let's see, what, we, what can we get with that emerald? <laughs> let's try again and see what can we get out of this one? <gasps> oh, what? It, dude. Poisonous <laughs> potato, come on now. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was a gag reflex, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay, I guess the golden ingot was a good one. Jeez, man, what's going on? Okay, piece of quartz. I, I, you know what? We gotta get some. What? Come on, man. Well, you, you gotta give us something better than this. Jeez. Hey, yo! <laughs> golden apple. Lovely. And if you go over here, you can actually check out the redstone that's required to work it. So there we go. Let's move on to the next one. This one is called the... The, uh... Okay, uh... Oh! The Pulse Lever! <laughs> and it's very simple. It's just a lever inside of this tower that will turn on and off a source of water. But the weird thing is, is it's not that simple. Take a look at how much redstone goes into this. It is crazy. Don't know why you would need all this redstone, but the Pulse Lever, it does use a hopper. So I guess it makes sense to put it in the hopper build. I don't know. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. This is the hopper clock, and it's a very simple concept. All you do is press this dispenser, which will dispense a piece of redstone into the hoppers, and then just go back and forth, igniting all of these awesome lamps in, in, in a ring. So there we go. No stopping it. It just keeps going forever. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm stopping. <laughs> Let's move on to over in this direction where we have an auto furnace. Now, this is something most of you will probably be familiar with, but let's go ahead and start it up by putting coal into the coal chest, chicken into the chicken chest, and it will all go down into this furnace through the hoppers to make a cooked chicken, which should go back out into the cooked chicken jar once it's done. So, very simple build, a lot of people use it, but it gets the job done for sure. Next up, we have an item collector using a hopper minecart. Check it out. So basically, what happens here is if there are items 
all over the place on the track, like, well, for example, slime balls, melons, blaze rods, and magma cream. The minecart will sweep them all up like a vacuum. Check it out, and it'll dispense them all into the chest once it lands. Look at that. Very, 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 very cool. And as the eighth build, we have a key card lock, which is very cool because it's an awesome way to keep people out of your door. So let's check it out. So if I put this green key card in, which if you couldn't tell, it was the wrong one, and I hit this button, nothing happens. So I'll take it out. I'll put in the other broken key card and it's clearly not going to work. So, if I put in the right key card, the red key card, hit the button, it should open up the door. Any second now? Any second now? Any second now? Well, Detective Jack has figured out the solution to this issue! Uh, basically, the red key card that was supposed to work has two different names, red key card and right key card. So clearly, they need to be named the same thing and that did not happen, so that's why that is broken. But it's fine because at least you guys know what's wrong. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? Farm, which is something I just built on my survival world and is very, very cool. So basically these chickens right here will drop eggs through the half slabs and then the eggs will end up inside of this here uh, compartment. So there are hoppers under each and every one of those slabs and they all end up going into this here chest. Now I can't see if they're dropping eggs now, but it's, trust me, they, they drop eggs. Check it out, let's just punch one to death. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that should be enough. The rest of you guys can go. Anyways, now there should be a lot more body parts. Yep, four body parts of chickens. And last, but certainly not least, we have an item sorting system that uses redstone. It's very simple. You can basically set it up any way you'd like for any type or, or blocks or items you need. But, um, so basically what happens is you add items into this top chest and it sorts them out into the proper category uh, 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 of chest and it's very very cool so let's go ahead and put some of this awesome stuff inside as you can see it'll suck it out right when I put it inside the chest and it'll start sorting it right away into these chests on the bottom here I've got some diamonds in here I've got some iron ingots in here I've got some gold ingots in here I've got some emeralds and I've also got some quartz now what happens if you put something that's not in one of those categories or one of those items well let's say I put some of these chickens in a should end up on the other side here if it does not fit into the categories and there they are so yeah that's that now I'm just trying to think I don't know how to explain this you guys can easily see this build is there anything else that needs explaining that's pretty self-explanatory that's pretty self-explanatory this is pretty self-explanatory that doesn't work uh <laughs> You know what, guys? I was gonna go explain it all, but it's it's mostly simple. Now, this I don't get, so you might have to just check out the map to download this and figure it out. And I just also broke it, so. So, I believe that just about wraps it up today. Thank you once again to Agent CPU Zero for making this awesome map so I could show you guys all of these awesome features. Now, if you'd like to build any of these, go ahead and download the map for yourself. You could get a detailed look at each of these builds individually. So, if you want to do that, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description. Other than that, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button for me, and as always, Please do stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.